It's the weekend here at Muscle in the Morning, and I'm Dave Palumbo, and today is Friday, February 2nd, 2018. Let's find out what's going on in the world of bodybuilding and fitness. I'm sure this probably isn't true for everyone, but throughout my life, fear of disappointment has always been one of my biggest motivators. And now that he's coming off a season where he missed an Olympia qualification that was right there for the taking, I'm thinking that men's physique standout Chase Savoie is feeling that same fear right about now. This week Savoie announced that he was officially beginning preparations for his 2018 campaign where he'll be looking to bounce back from last year's disappointing season. To his credit, Savoie seems to be riding the ship right about now, so I guess for now it's just a waiting game to see if he can get back on track right out of the gate. Most days I need to check in with Google so I can figure out what the weather is going to be like down here in South Florida. But I don't need Google to tell me that things are about to heat up six weeks from now down in Australia because I got word that Fuego Bikini Pro Valeria Amarado is planning to bring her talent south of the border for the first time this year. Now that she's finally moved past the halfway point in her prep, we're suddenly starting to see the former amateur Olympia winner rounding into form. By and large, Amarado's biggest issue to this point in her career has been locking down consistency in the conditioning department. But if she can hit a home run down there in front of an awesome home-packed house, you never know what could happen once the judges start moving these girls around in that first call-out. If you thought that with less than five weeks to go before one of the biggest contests of his professional career that men's physique star Logan Franklin might be thinking about backing off the gas, well you and everyone else out there counting him out would be making a very big mistake. Late Wednesday night, while most of the world was busy sleeping or binge watching Netflix, one of the hungriest competitors in the men's physique division was out there crushing a midnight leg session. I don't know what's gotten into Franklin since last year's Olympia, but whatever reason this guy looks like he's walking around with a major chip on his shoulder. But I'd be willing to bet that a top three finish in Columbus would go a long way towards curing whatever it is that's been ailing him. I think it's the old school boxing fan of me that thinks it's cool when people come back to a show to defend their title. That's why it brought a smile to my face when I saw that underrated big man Gerald Williams announced that he was heading back to Culver City this May to defend his title as the reigning California Pro Champ. Unless you're a hardcore bodybuilding fan, Williams is probably one of those guys who flies so far under the radar that you wouldn't recognize him if he was right there in front of you. But hopefully a repeat out in Cali changes all that quick, fast, and in a hurry. Because this guy absolutely deserves their love as one of the more underrated athletes in the business. Have you ever heard the expression, those who say they can and those who say they can't are both right? Well, you don't have to be a genius to figure out which one of those two categories women's physique star Kira Newman falls into. Five weeks out from bringing all her dynamic energy to the great state of Ohio for the Arnold Sports Festival, one of the most entertaining competitors in the business seems like she's almost ready to kick it into high gear. Over and over again now we've seen Kira Newman rise to the occasion at some of the biggest moments in the sport. And when you relish the challenge and the spotlight the way she does, I think you'd be crazy not to expect her to seriously contend for the title and give everyone up there on that stage just about all they can handle. And that does it for yet another edition of Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo, reminding you to always be true to your passions, and make sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.